What well, Emitted DHB has only two priorities. The first is better health outcomes for our community and the other is better experience of care. The vision is for our frontline clinicians driving better care, designing, working with their patients to work out what's the best way to provide health care. I don't believe patients should wait because we can't organise ourselves. So we had to find a cleverer way to work. So the I3 Institute is part of White Matter DHB and they help develop software and clinical solutions to problems. A Best Care Bundle is a collection of all the things one would need to fix a specific problem. So the Best Care Bundles now take the patient and gets the patient treated by nursing staff, supervised by clinical nurse specialists, to the point where the decision has to be made, yes, they can go home now, or no, they need to stay. With the way Click allows us to connect with the underlying data structures in the hospital, we are able to show the impact that the bundles have and we can now, going forward, develop bundles and pathways that synchronize with our ability to gather data so that we end up with a pathway that polices itself in real time and shows us what it's achieving. And it's probably a third of our workload that is taken away like that now that's processed relatively automatically. Stefan's a really good example. Give someone data and they will run with it. The main application is the ED Explorer, which is a portal for clinicians to see essentially clinical outcomes of patients and also their performances. Got their junior medical staff, the registrars, the nursing staff, all looking at that data and saying, are we making a difference? And that's what analytics is about. Analytics is understanding what does this data mean, asking the right questions. Things that would take weeks and weeks to come back to us. Now, with this type of technology, we have it in real time. We can see day by day what's happening, day by day what's changing, and we can use that to accelerate our changes. Clinicians can now ask questions that they probably didn't even know how to ask when they started makes the discussions a lot more powerful because we can actually walk out of there with solutions most of the time rather than debating what is actually going on. The future is really exciting, it's unlimited potential. I think we've got already started in looking at predictive analytics, so we'd like to think we're doing really well, but we also know with humility that we've got a long way to go. But I'm excited because I think we're on a trajectory and heading in the right direction. So putting that information into the hands of our clinicians means that we have straight away the first building block of quality improvement. They see the data, they can act on it, and they know what it means to our patients. Yeah.